Another kind of question we can ask with these problems is, let's see, if the person walks at VP, uh, how fast does the barge move? And if we think back to the previous demo, we saw the barge move back. So you could consider some sort of average velocity. If I had been walking smoothly, the barge would have moved smoothly. So let's calculate how fast the barge should have moved. So one thing about these is these are tricky, because this is a little bit of an imprecisely asked question, is these involve what frame of reference you're talking about. So when you say the, the person walked at velocity VP, you got to be specific. Do you mean with respect to the barge or with respect to the lab frame? Because the barge is moving, all right? So usually when I think of these questions, if they say the person walked at VP on the barge, that's their impression of how fast they walked on the barge. Therefore, it's in the barge frame. But if you're watching the barge move back and ask how far does the barge move back, well, that's probably in the lab frame, right? So hopefully if you have a question like this, it'll be real specific or you'll just have to um, interpret it. So to make ours specific, how fast does a barge move? And I'll put with respect to lab. And I'll say a person walks at VP with respect to barge. And that should have us covered, OK? So first, let's think about our sort of reference frames here and remember how we uh, relate these things. We want to know the speed of the person in the lab frame, say. So velocity of the person in the lab frame. Remember, you just say it's the velocity of the person in some frame plus the velocity of, um, of that thing in the lab frame. So that's the barge. The person in the barge frame and the velocity of the barge in the lab frame. So if you write it like that, it'll always come out right. But this isn't what we're going to use to solve the problem. We just we need this. But we also need to remember this is a collision of bodies in an isolated system. Therefore, the center of mass does not move. So we want to say the velocity of the center of mass is 0. But we have to get that center of mass in a specific reference frame. We can say we can do it in the barge frame. We can do it in the lab frame. Right? Let's do it in the lab frame. That usually uh, makes a little bit more sense to do. So let's do that in the lab frame. Then all we got to do is say the velocity of the center of mass is 1 over the total mass, person plus mass of the barge, just like before. And again, we just weight each velocity with the mass. We say it's the mass of the person times the person's velocity in the lab frame, uh, which is v. Pb, the velocity of the person in the barge frame, plus the velocity of the barge in the lab frame. All right, And then we also need to consider the, the barge's velocity, plus mb times the velocity of the barge in the lab frame. Right. There's your two terms. There's your center of mass. And what's it equal to? Zero. The center of mass is not going to move. Right? Now let's see if my algebra skills have increased here. So what were we asked for? We were asked how fast does the barge move with respect to the lab? Oh, okay, we're trying to solve for this. Trying to solve for that. Okay. Equal to zero, so I can cancel that. Multiply both sides by the total mass. And now we're solving for the velocity of the barge in the lab frame. So what would I do? I've got MP, MP, MB, MB, um, MP, I would bring these. Uh, take that one to the other side and divide by the total mass. So I'm going to get a negative. And this is the part I didn't take over. MP over the sum. MP and MB I did take over. P plus MB uh, times the uh, velocity of the person in the barge frame. And that's actually what you were given in the problem. And just like the position, we can now check does this make sense? Let's see if the person is really light. If you're walking on an aircraft carrier, then basically the barge's recoil velocity, it will be negative. It should be, right? We know that the barge moves backwards, but it'll be really small. If this is my mass and that's an aircraft carrier, then essentially nothing. Or if I'm heavy walking on a light barge, then 
it will move back at about the same speed. And that's kind of what you'd expect. If this is the biggest number, then this is basically negative 1, and it moves back. So again, think of it as a collision. Make the center of mass not move. But also, this one, when you get into velocities, requires a little bit of reference framework. <coughs>